Hi, this is Jared from Shuno, and today I want to do a quick overview of my new and improved work environment for ARCHICAD 20. If you've watched my video for my ARCHICAD 19 work environment, um, or if you're using my 19 work environment, this is going to be very similar, but I just want to go over what I've streamlined and how some things have changed. So, first off, I'll just start at the top left and work my way around. Uh, you'll notice I don't have the toolbox showing in ARCHICAD. I've decided that's a waste of space. I've written about this. And so I've created a drop-down menu. And so here's all the tools. Works great. Uh, what's extra nice is that the keyboard shortcuts automatically show up. So it helps remind me of what my keyboard shortcuts are and uh, makes me need the drop-down menu or the toolbox even less. And as you can see, I've created custom keyboard shortcuts for the primary uh, modeling tools, and they're all kind of control, option, or command, one, two, three, and four. It's great, keeps my hands all in the same spot. Um, going across up here, I've also created custom toolbars where I went and I got rid of everything that I don't need a button for on the screen. I don't need undo, redo, I don't need a save button, all that stuff, it's just garbage, it's a waste of space. What I do have is a button to turn on my favorites, one for uh, markup tools, for revisions, for rendering, and all the stuff that you might, you know, legitimately need. Uh, then up here, some other common stuff I need, trace reference, um, uh, cutting planes, and then over here, what comes next are buttons for um, uh, editing, so split, um, align, distribute, all this stuff that I have keyboard shortcuts for a lot of them, but it's still nice to just have them up there. It's easy to get to. Uh, at the end are all the attributes. As I've said a billion times in writing and videos, you want to have the attributes up here easy to get to, just so you can get to them and remember they're there. Uh, this final button, uh, it's a nice addition, I think it came in like 19, brings the attribute manager. So coming down here on the right, I've got my Navigator docked on top of renovation filters and then quick options. I don't like the quick options bar. I think it's bad design. I don't like that it's stretched out across. I want to be able to see all my quick options right in a condensed little area where my eyes don't have to move and where my mouse doesn't have to move much. This otherwise is pretty much the same as what I had in 19. Uh, below that, uh, quick layers is great. Then this is some stuff, these holdovers from days gone by, but I like having uh, the coordinates down here, all the grouping and uh, guidelines stuff down here. Now, in the far left, I've got a zoom pan, previous zoom, all this. This is stuff that, because I don't have the quick options bar on, I lose that. So, fortunately, there is a, uh, what is it? Um, is it palette? It is, I think it's a toolbar. Whatever it is, it's, um, oh, it's the zoom toolbar. That brings me back the quick options. Uh, or it brings back what I've lost by removing the quick options bar. Let's see, let me add quick options. Now, really, the, there's some other things behind the scenes with work environment. Um, like what my keyboard shortcuts and all that. And you can just download my work environment from the link below or on my website and uh, explore those. But the last thing I really want to talk about is how I've rearranged the info box. So I'm going to scroll through a bunch of things real quick. And what you'll see as I'm scrolling, the top couple of um, lines don't change. There's always the tool where you get to the settings dialog. There's the layer. There is the element type, there's categories and properties, then ID, then everything else. This is for whatever I'm using, the wall tool, the object tool, the shell tool, the morph tool. All this stuff is the same at the top because when you're creating elements, you want to think about layer, you want to think about element type, then you want to start thinking about the kind of 2D based data, ID, categories and all the stuff that AC properties are bringing into. Then you want to get to the ID, and then you want to work out geometry. 
So I've put those at the very top um, to help me remember to always think about that stuff. And that's all I have to say about work environments for now. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hope what I talked about makes sense. Go download my work environment because why not? And uh, I'll talk to you later. Thanks.